Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. I am here at Be So In. I'm doing a tour of their stores, having a ball, doing in-store seminars. And I got a great question today and I decided to answer it on video. I had a lady ask me if she had purchased fonts because they weren't a font that we had could she add it to our font library? No, you can't. Because when you purchase a package of fonts, they may call them fonts, they may look like fonts, taste like fonts, and actually smell like fonts. But they're actually designs in the shape of those letters. Well, when she explained what she was having to do to get them on the screen, she would open one design and put in, and it's for monogramming, so she would put an L in, then she would open a second design, put her Q in, open her third design, and put her K. Then she would copy and paste the L and the K to another page. Well, I realized if she was having difficulty doing this, she wasn't the only one. So I'm going to show you an easy way that if you purchase fonts, design fonts, not actual in our library fonts, how you can work them very easily because you can't use keyboard lettering. So the first thing you need to do is install those designs inside your library. Now the easiest way to do this is I'm going to go to my start. I thought for a minute I hadn't started my recorder. I'm going to go to start and go to computer and I'm going to open my local disk C I'm going to go to the word Floriani and there is my designs folder I'm going to go back to start I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to go to my desktop because on my desktop is where I have this folder of designs so I would have bought the designs and I would have put them on my desktop and I called that folder lettering. Now I'm going to simply take lettering and I'm going to drag this folder holding down my left mouse key and I'm going to drop it inside my designs folder. So if I open up my designs folder now there is that lettering folder. So now this is in my C Floriani designs so now this is in my design library. I'm going to close this window by left mouse clicking. I'm going to close this window. And now I'm going to open my Floriani Total Control U. Now when my program opens up, I'm going to show you a very easy way to work with this. So let's close this down. And let's get a new piece of paper. Let's come up here and open a design page. So here we go. So now I'm going to hover over my library tab. I'm going to scroll down. Oops. I'm going to scroll down here to my lettering. I'm going to select that folder and now I'm going to go to my designs. Now notice here's my alphabets. Here is a bunch of alphabets in here. So now in here, if I want to go ahead, I've got an entire alphabet in two sizes. You notice this is a 4.5 by 6.27R, and this is 4.7 by 293. So I have two separate sizes. So I'm going to do my monogram. So H-I-J-K-L, I'm going to pull in an L. Now this is drag and drop, remember. When you're in your library, I can drag and drop and I can put as many designs on this screen as I want. I could go to another folder and pull in a different design. So L, now I need a Q. Only I want the big Q. Let's see, where's a Q? Here's a Q. I think that's the little one. Here's the big one. So I've got one here that's 5.09 and here's, here's the next one. So I'm going to bring this Q in. So with that Q, I'm going to move him over a little bit. 
Now I'm going to come oops, back into my designs folder and I'm going to bring in a K. And now I want my smaller K, which is right here. So now I've got my three letters. Let's close this up. I've got my letters here. Now I'm going to go ahead just to make this easy for me. I'm going to make these three different colors just so it makes it easy for me to grab. Okay, so now I've got them in three different colors. I'm going to look in my sequence view and I'm going to go ahead and close down my properties box just so you can see it well. So now here's my L, my Q, and my K. So I'm going to come up to my view box right here and I'm going to zoom out. Now I'm going to grab my K and I can select it over here very easily and I'm going to move my K over. I'm going to grab my L and I'm going to move my L over. So now I can come in and I can put my letters in like I want them. Now you know what? I don't think this Q is quite big enough. So I'm going to make it just a little bigger. So I'm going to select it holding down my left mouse key. I'm going to make this just a little bigger. Now here I've created a fun monogram very easily. So sometimes you want to buy a cutesy alphabet. You can buy the whole alphabet and just drag and drop and spell whatever you want. But remember, these are not fonts. These are designs in the shape of letters. So even though they may call it a font alphabet, it's not true fonts. Now once I've got these in here, I've selected all items. Now I'm going to align them. So I'm going to come up to my alignment icon right here on my top toolbar and I'm going to align all my horizontal centers because obviously I want my L and my K to be on the same height. I could also come in here and I can say distribute space evenly horizontally so I can make sure that they're all the same distance apart. So now I've moved that. Now mathematically this just went correct but because of all these loops and stuff that really doesn't look balanced even though mathematically I know it's balanced because if I go to the edge of this curly Q and to the farthest place on this curly Q it's the same distance as right here but because of the way that this is shaped it doesn't look perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and select the K and I'm going to just using my holding down my control key and using my arrow keys I'm going to nudge this over just a little so that it looks nice and balanced. Now that I'm happy, I'll grab all items and I'll go ahead and make this monogram the color that I need it to be all of them at once. So now we have taken a folder of lettering, drug out whatever we needed to spell, and you'll find a lot of times you'll buy a design pack. I have a lot of cross stitch designs and there's cross stitch alphabets in there so what I'll do is, is with them in this folder I can drag letters out really quickly if I need to spell a child's name if I need to do something like that now with this I could go back into my library and I could say you know I want to go into well, maybe let's look in this home deck folder see what we've got I might want to come in here and do something with this. Now these are corners so that's not looking too too promising for me. So let's go in here and let's pick some other folder and let's see let's go into <laughs> don't you know it whenever you just want something you can't think of something. So let's see let's just look in some summer events folder let's see what's in here Let's see if we've got anything in here that I can work with. Okay, we're just going to drag something. So I could grab this and say I want to place it in here to look cute in here. So you could pull out of several folders to create your own design and I only had one screen. Because what we're used to with home software 
is if I want to add designs together and I come over here and I say file open, if I open a design, it's going to open a new design page. So let me grab this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's opened a new page. So if I wanted to add to this design page, I would have to say file, merge stitch file. Then I would have to go wherever I need to go for these designs, find a design that I wanted, and then I would have to open that to add it to this design. So that's a lot of work. Whereas if you just go through your library, you can drag and drop as many designs as you want on the screen at the same time to work with. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's project of the week. I hope this gives you an easy way to use purchased lettering designs. So you just put the entire folder in our library and then drag and drop as many times as you need. So I look forward to seeing you next week and I hope you enjoyed this week's project of the week.